Hello and welcome to episode 22 of my Setting Up Todoist series. In this episode, I want to take you through the benefits of creating a separate routine task folder. I've had quite a few people ask me about this and ask me why I do it. So I thought it would be a good idea just to put together a little episode explaining my reasons for using a separate routine task folder. Now, before we go into what I've got in my routine folders, I want to show you why I've set this up, and I have a few reasons, so I thought I would put together a little presentation file and go through these with you. So the first one is, it keeps my everyday, boring, mundane routines out of my main project list. Now, I know that these are going to crop up into my um, daily list, but I can generally ignore these and I can focus on the things that really need doing. Also, routines that need to be done in the morning, for example, will come up in my uh, morning filter uh, anyway, so I don't need to worry about it. Uh, another one is it helps to avoid overwhelm. And what I mean by this is if you've got a lot of boring routine uh, tasks in your today list and they're not separated out, uh, it can often get quite overwhelming your list, particularly if you're following your list from your mobile device because the way that the mobile device shows your today list it's quite it, it means you're scrolling through and it can be quite overwhelming when you look at things first thing in the morning uh, another one is it allows me to focus on the projects that move my life forward a lot of my mundane routines are just regular routine tasks that you know you have to do every day for example feed the dog or walk the dog and although my dog would disagree with me, uh, these don't really take my life forward, although I'm sure they take his life forward. Um, but it does allow me to focus on the projects that are moving my life forward and making me more productive throughout the day. Uh, another one is that routine tasks don't need reviewing every week. And this is a really key point for me. Um, my weekly review can take 30 minutes 40 minutes depends on how much stuff I collected during the week. But if I'm having to review my everyday tasks as well, then it, it can make this, this uh, weekly routine, uh, weekly review last more than an hour. So I don't have to check my, review my weekly re routine tasks every day, every week because they very rarely change. Uh, I have a few more here, just three more to go through. One of them is it allows a much greater flexibility with filters. So those of you who are, have paid the $30 for the annual subscription, uh, you can play around with the filters and you can remove uh, the routine tasks from a view. Uh, so that's a really useful tip. Uh, it also prevents things from slipping through the cracks. You know, if you've had a really, really tough day and... I don't get these very rare, uh, very often, but when they do happen, I'm really not thinking about what I haven't done and what I have to do. At least when I get home at the end of the day and I look through my mini, do my mini review, I can actually see the things that I haven't done and can then make a decision whether I really need to do them today or I can just hang them off and do it till tomorrow. And finally, you don't have to keep reminding yourself to do anything. And this, for me, is the, the big one. Uh, I hate having to, oh, I must remember to, oh, I must, re oh, don't forget to do this. That, to me, is such a waste of brain power. I like my things to be on my list, say, oh, yes, I can do that now, I can do that now, I can do that now. It's a really, really good way of avoiding those horrible phrases, oh, I must remember to. So, there you go. Those are my reasons for doing it. Now, let me take you into Todoist and show you how I've got mine set up. And maybe this is something that you would like to do for yourself. So, let's have a look. Okay, so now here we are in my routines folder. And within my routines folder... Oh, first I should just show you how I've set my uh, project list up. I have my tickler file here, which in a previous episode I covered uh, tickler files and what they are and how to set them up. Then I have my routines, then my work, then home, then areas of focus, and someday maybe. For now, we're just going to focus on my routines folder. And inside my routines folder, I have separated these out into nested projects of daily, weekly, monthly, and finally, my weekly review. Uh, daily tasks are basically all the tasks that I generally have to do every day, Monday to Friday, or every single day, or even, as I have here, confirm this morning's mal classes, I have this set up for 
just Tuesday and Thursday because that's only relevant for those days. Now, if you remember from my previous episode on keyboard shortcuts, all I have to do now is press S and I can uh, organize my routines into uh, the order of uh, when they're next due. So the things I have remaining today is to confirm tomorrow's lunchtime classes, update my company's administration sheets, review my calendar for tomorrow, and update my credit uh, card payments list. So those things I will do usually at the end of the day, because as you can see, uh, the confirm tomorrow afternoon lunchtime classes, I have a P2 flag, uh, the uh, oh, sorry P three flag, which is the uh, priority level three. This means for me anyway. This means it's an afternoon task. Uh, no flag or P four level is an evening task. Um, so as you can see here, which is uh, an orange flag for tomorrow, that's a morning task. So I separate them out when these tasks need doing: morning or afternoon or evening. Uh, my weekly tasks is a little, I think this is a bit longer actually, uh, because these are all tasks that I have to do either once or at the very most twice uh, a week. Now, one of the interesting ones I have, it's Clean Back of TV and Mathis. Mathis, by the way, is the name of my computer, desktop computer. Um, this is a, <laughs> now, to be honest, I suppose most people wouldn't think to put this into a routines task, but... Um, on a Saturday, I, I once I finish my morning uh, work, I tend to like to have a nice relax, relax and maybe do a bit of exercise. And I really don't want to be thinking about what I have to do for the rest of the day. So this is a nice one because when I finally sit down at my desk, usually about five, six o'clock in the evening, I say, oh, clean back of TV and math is, It's a two minute job. It doesn't take long, just a quick dust. Um, processing Evernote inbox. Uh, for those of you who use Evernote, if you're using it by collecting stuff into an inbox, I process mine every week. Uh, download this week's free iStock photo. Uh, they do a, a nice stock, iStockphoto.com does a free photo every week. And if you remember, you can get this. And this is just a reminder for me to download that um, as and when I need it. Monthly tasks, a lot to do with billing and invoicing, etc. Uh, I have a review systems here. So I like to review my systems every three months. Um, and same with um, my project, which is an operation style project, which is just a purchase list. Uh, again, that's every every one month I check that. So, and here, uh, as I I think in last week I showed you this one, which is um, or in the updates for the desktop is check above and beyond tour dates. And here I have a link that takes me directly to the above and beyond tour. Uh, dates list. So that's basically how I set up my routines folder. The beauty of it is, is I can just separate this out from my uh, regular work because on a Monday morning I can get sat down at a desk or sat down in a coffee shop. I can just click on work and there we go. I have all my tasks that need to be done in my work. So there you go. I hope you found that useful. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to get the latest updates to my to do -is series and Apart from that, I'm just going to wish you an incredibly productive week and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you for watching.